Hello everyone, it's me. In this video, we will talk about functions and function machines. So what is a function and a function machine is a fun way to think about it. So I can identify if a relation is a function or not from a mapping diagram, and I can explain what a function is. So we can start by thinking about vending machines. So on a vending machine, you enter a code off to the side here and something comes out to eat or drink. There's an input. So you type in like the code like A1, C4, and then an output comes out the bottom, which is your food or your drink, your snack. Um, so the input is the code you put in. The output is the snack. This is a lot like how a function works. A function is a lot like a vending machine. A function takes an input value, so usually a number, and gives you an output value, so puts out a number. For example, if you entered the code D4 on a vending machine, a bag of pretzels might drop out. So the input is D4, the output is pretzels. All right, so let's um, just do a couple examples. So here's our vending machine. I've got Coke, water, chips, more chips, Sour Patch Kids, and Takis. So if I type in A1 as my input, then my output is Coke. If I type in B1, put the code in, B1, the output is water. If I type in C1, the output is chips. And if I type in B2, the output is some candy. And if I type in C2, I'm also going to get chips. So I have two slots that have chips. It's kind of like if you looked at a big vending machine, there would be um, like two bags of chips next to each other. So let's define a function. A function is a relationship where each input has one output. So I type a code in and I get the thing out. An input is a value that is put into a function and an output is the value that is the result of a function. So in and out. Um, and we use something called a mapping diagram to um, show functions. So a mapping diagram matches each input to each output to determine if the set is a function. So a mapping diagram has inputs on the left, outputs on the right, and then arrows show um, which input goes with which output and usually ovals or like rectangles to show the inputs and outputs. So let's go back to the vending machine. Let's say there are two slots right next to each other in the vending machine that both have chips. So if I type in C1, I'm going to get a bag of chips. If I type in C2, I'm going to get a bag of chips also. It is okay to have a mapping diagram that has multiple arrows point to the same output value. It's still a function because each input, so if I look at my input side, A1 has one output, B1 has one output, C1 has one output, and C2 has one output. So each input has one output. So it is a function. Now, what does a not function look like? Um, let's look at this mapping diagram. What's wrong with it? So I have A1 goes to Coke, and now my B1 goes to water and chips. So B1 has two outputs. I have one input that has two outputs. This goes against the definition of a function. A function can only assign an input value to one output. This one, I have an input that has two outputs. So it is not a function. If there are two arrows coming from one input in a mapping diagram, then the relation is not a function. So this is not a function because there's two arrows coming from one input. So not a function. Um, so there it is. This is what makes this not a function. Those two arrows, I have two things coming out of B1. So here is just the two types put together. So function, I have one, each input has one output. I have one arrow coming from each input. And the one on the right is not a function. I have two arrows coming from B1. All right, so now to like put some letters and numbers that we might see more in the math world. Um, you'll see X and Y um, X is our input and Y is our output. You might see X and Y as well, but the inputs are always on the left and the outputs are always on the right. So is this a function? 
Uh, yes, it is. Each input, so each x value has one output. It is a function. What about this one? 0 goes to negative 2, 1 goes to 1, negative 2 goes to 4 and 3. So this is not a function. One input has more than one output. It is not a function. And finally, Miss Ewell teaches math, Miss Shalafor teaches ELA, but Miss Hale teaches math and ELA. So is this a function? No. One input, Miss Hale has more than one output. I have two arrows coming from one input. It is not a function. And that is all for today's video. Bye.